Hey there, everybody. In this lesson, we're going to talk about solving one step equations, this time using division and multiplication. So whenever I have a number right next to the letter X, that means I'm multiplying that number with X. So this is three times X. We need to do the opposite of three times. And so the opposite of multiplying by three is dividing by three. So we can divide both sides by three. Three divided by three is one. And we can write that as just X. We don't have to write the one in front, but you can if you want. We have the equal sign. And then 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then we're done. One step. One thing to do. Here we have 8 times x. So we need to divide by 8 on both sides. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So we have 1x left, but we don't need to write the 1. We have our equal sign, and negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. Here the x is on the right side. That's OK. We solve it the same way. I have a negative 4 times x. The minus belongs with that 4. So I'm going to divide by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. So I have 1x. I have my equal sign. And 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. We'll do one last one. I have negative 2 times x, so I need to divide by negative 2 on both sides. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So I have 1x. Again, I don't have to write the 1. Equals negative 2 divided by negative 20 is positive 10. So we just do one thing. We divide on both sides, and then the equation is solved. Let's try solving using multiplication. In this problem, I'm dividing x by 2. The opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I'm just going to rewrite that equation first. And then I'm going to show that I'm multiplying by 2. I use my parentheses to show multiplication. This 2 here and that 2 right there makes 1. So we have 1x, just like in the previous page, equals 8. 4 times 2 is 8. In this problem, I'm dividing x by 3, so I need to multiply by 3. So I'm going to rewrite my equation, and then I'm going to show you that I'm multiplying by 3. I use parentheses to show multiplication. I don't want to use a, a, a multiplication symbol, an x, because we're already using x. The 3 and the 3 become 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I have x equals 2 times 3 is 6. Do a couple more. This time I have a minus sign in front. So I have a divided by 5, but I have a minus sign. So I want to, first of all, rewrite my equation. And I want to multiply by negative 5. I want to get rid of the negative and the 5. So I multiply by negative 5. Negative 5 divided by 5 is 
negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. So I have 1x equals negative 15. One last one. Again, I have a negative sign in front of my fraction, so I want to cancel out the negative and the 4 so that x will be alone. So I'll rewrite my equation, and I will multiply by negative 4 on both sides. Parentheses means multiplication. These are the parentheses. Minus 4 divided by minus 4 is 1. So here I have 1x equals negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. And you should always circle your answer. So if you have any questions, make sure that you email and ask your teacher.